Hello, it's Keith. I am back. And I am someplace new. Where am I? I am fishing. No, I am on a server. Um, I'm on Athens server. We were going to be um, doing episodes on here once 1.8 came out. But with the issues with Bucket, um, we're not going to do it until that's fixed. So what they had and what I've been playing with ooh, nice my first saddle maybe not um, but what we've been playing with is a snapshot server and I've been on the server a few times over the uh, days but now I'm gonna do a series from it so let me show you around and this is what it looks like from the sky um, I've never followed that road, so maybe we'll do that in this video. But somebody, since the last time I've been here, made this nice pillar, and I decided to take a look from up here to uh, see what Swan Town looks like. Basically, that's it. There's the King's Place. Um, I actually don't know where that place is, but um, there's a skeleton spawner there. There's some nice places. There's my place out there. But, might as well... Uh, Got to get some more ladders on here. So, let's take a look around. When I first uh, logged on, this is basically where you log in. And I saw a sign here that said there's skeleton spawner down here. So, uh, they said if somebody can make it into a spawner. So, I did. Um, so, this is the town's way of getting some XP until we get an ender farm going. So, I made the... Just a typical basic skeleton spawner. There's a spawner there. An AFK room. Some ways to cook. Throw away your trash. And it's kind of like the uh, mumbo jumbo setup. And then the skeletons keep burning. Um. So, well, I guess they've been using this pretty oops, regularly, so now we have uh, arrows, unlimited arrows, which is awesome. It's always good when you're in the uh, center of town uh, to rebreed these cows because, you know, these are town cows. You come in and you kill what you need and leave the babies, uh, but people haven't really been doing that great a job of replenishing the cows. Hey. Mm -hmm. I might as well do some sheep too. So I don't know, uh, this is a little secret. I'm at my house and I have this uh, little dock, but what people don't realize is underneath it, I have this place that goes down. And this is uh, my mind. My mind. It's not my mind, it's my mind. Um, my daughter helped me design this, and I showed her the different blocks I wanted to use, and she showed me, or told me, how she wanted it to be set up. So this was designed by my daughter. She's seven. And as you can see, I just went caving and uh, did a whole bunch of this. I didn't realize, though, um, that I was going to end up doing a Let's Play on the server. So, um, let's throw that over here. Maybe I'll uh, supply a beacon to the town. And basically what I do is just go out 50 uh, blocks. And I'm going to do the mining that way and stuff. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, I th think um, from now on, though, instead of going, I went 50 blocks in every direction. I don't really need to do that, but um, I wanted something nice on here. So what I'll do is eventually I will... Go in and go in there, 
go to the other tunnel at the other side. Mine anything out of interest. Same there. Same there. I can actually skip this another row because most veins of um, ore are more than two wide. So if I actually did go out here, I could stretch it out and go here. Because I'll see everything here, and I'll see everything here, and most likely there's nothing um, specifically just to this. So that will save me some time. I typically do twos, but I think I'm going to go do threes this time. Just to save some time. And so that's my deal um, with this. I will, in future episodes, show you what I'm going to do with the mind. So I have a uh, great living sword. So I've been coming to the nether a lot here trying to get... Um, some skeleton with their heads. We gotta find out and out the area. Obviously, though, a very good spawning area. Plenty of um, blaze farms, too, that can be built down here. So, we uh, gotta flatten out this area. Oops. And. Um, make it a little more friendly for the skeletons here. We also got to be safer. out a little bit but yeah so until we uh, figure out what's gonna go with, on with the bucket servers we are not gonna start 1.8 so that is why I have decided to start on our snapshot thing these episodes hmm. And, you know, I still have to uh, mine a lot, get a lot of materials. I'm not rich at all. I hardly have any diamonds. So it's basically just starting out. But I do have the house, which is a ripoff from uh, Corrales. I didn't think I was going to be recording anything here. So I decided just to use a house that was already made and just make it in this world. I like Corrales' stuff, so I made his house. So I think I'm going to really call this an episode. I'm going to go fishing before we do, though. Getting lots of coal. Okay. So it doesn't look like there's too much left here. Uh... I did get another... Oh, jeez. Well, I guess I can go up here and kill these guys. I've killed hundreds of these with a really good looting 3 sword. Sharpness 4. I should make that sharpness 5, but... Um, I have yet to get any skulls. Skulls. I do believe there's guy up here. Hey, you. Bye. <laughs> that was kind of stupid but um yeah I'm looking forward to doing episodes on here uh, really good crew of people um oh I forgot that you were there <sighs> really good crew of people I want to try something out here they say strength potion are you coming down? You are. I'm proud of you. Nobody else is going to get mad at me? You mean I can really do this? Farm gold this way? No way. 
Excellent. I'm going to be making a lot of strength potions. I didn't know that this is something that you could do. That is wonderful. I see my... Eh, I don't think so. That's not worth it. Um, I'm going to see my gold production massively rise. So, yeah. Come on. Let me get back to uh, Spawn Town. And I wanted to show you something else that's really cool. I haven't used it yet, but somebody made it. And I'm very happy about it. So, yeah. Um, eventually, I'm going to have to spread from Spawn. Get a new house. Um, and make my fortunes out there. But this is what I wanted to really show you. I uh, can't wait to use this. I also got to make a flag. Or a banner, I should say. Um... If you watch Etho, whoops, you have seen him make this. Excellent. There's one of those. I also got to make a, I got a lot of stuff to do on the server. That is awesome though. Um, it's basically a brewing stand. Oh, wow. Speed potions too. And so eventually I will um, find an area to, I think there's a map over here, I don't know how big this map goes, but uh, I gotta find an area, it's a 2000 by 2000 world, and obviously that's not 2000 by 2000, and um, find an area, claim it, claim it the Keith Purchase. And buy it for like 30 cents per dollar. Let's see how I can do my bow if I'm still accurate. Oh wow. Oh god, I suck. But um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build a house out somewhere. Other than that, I might as well just show you this house real quick. That thing didn't drop anything. Oh. Get out of here, you do you get. Oh no you don't. You too. I don't want you near my house. Okay. Um, there's the house. And See, it says Chateau de Keith, inspired by Corrales. It's actually Corrales made this, and I just completely copied his design. I think I'm missing some wood up there. Maybe not. Um, and I made all these high trees around it. And it's an okay house. It does the job. Um, I am going to make... For a while when I first came in here, seeing that it, I was so excited about 1.8 and all the new blocks, this uh, house used all the old blocks and I was going to just change things every day, come in and just change something, just one thing on the house each day, just to mess with people's minds in here, um, with new blocks, but I only changed the doors and did a couple of um, posts out of birch wood and stuff, um, but I'm going to end up making this area into a enchanting area that's just you know my home it's where I sleep that's where I brew and might as well start this up in this episode the same way I started it with a little fish off my pier not a ooh, where are you now I know don't even bother attacking me yep wait let me do that again I remember to get to my mine is underneath there, but again, I gotta find some place far, far away and build a house designed by me, and uh, that should do it. So, I enjoy working on the server, working with the people. Hopefully, we can finally do some collabs now that I guess I'm gonna settle on do this as my 1.8 server thing, and um. I will hope to see you as I spiral away with the strength potion.
Oops. Another day. It's K. Keith. Have a great day. Yes. And yes, I'm finally doing a server. Let's play. Um, and I'll tell you all the hard things I had to do to get this going. I wasn't even able to play on the servers for a while because of a Wi-Fi issue. And I fixed that basically by hardwiring. <laughs> And that had me worried. I started a mod pack uh, thing, and I decided to end it because I, every time I was on the mod, I could only last about 20 seconds. Every time I logged in and making episodes with about 30 cuts in the middle because I couldn't stay on there, and halfway through a sentence and getting timed out was just not cool. So this should be better now that I'm hardwired, and uh, I look forward to actually working in this place now they i'm going to call this my home away from home and i want to say thank you corrales for having such a beautiful design um and you know i've updated a couple of things but it's not nothing major so have a good day it's k